let's take a look at probability of simple events. You pick a card at random, what is the probability you pick six? Write your answer as a percentage. Okay, well, if I look at the setup, there's one, two, three, four, five cards I can pick. So that means my sample space or total possible number of outcomes is five. Of those five cards, one of them is this yellow card with a six on it. So that means I have a one out of five probability of picking my six. Now they did ask me to write it as a percentage, so I want to figure out what is one fifth as a percent. Now there's a few different ways I could do this. I could divide, which would give me a decimal answer and then move my decimal, or I could convert it to a fraction out of 100 because I know percentages are out of 100. So let's do it that way. If I want to rewrite this as a fraction over 100, well, I have to think how many times does 5 go into 100? Well, 5 times 20 gives me 100, so 5 goes into 120 times. So this means if the, if the denominator or the bottom number was changed by a factor of 20, I also have to do the same thing on the top and multiply that 1 times 20. 1 times 20 would give me 20. So 1 fifth is the same thing as 20 out of 100. And remember, percentage means out of 100. So 20 out of 100 would be 20%. You pick a card at random. What is the probability that you pick 6? we want to write our answer as a percentage. Okay, so this time, notice that there's four different cards to pick from. So that means I'm going to put a four for the total number of possibilities. And that's always the bottom of my fraction. For the top, I want to say how many cards have the six. Well, of these four cards, only one has the six on it. So I have a one out of four chance of picking this card, right? It's one of the four cards. And of course, I want to turn that into a percentage. So I want to rewrite it as a fraction out of 100, because percentage always means out of 100. Well, how many times does 4 go into 100? Or you can think 100 divided by 4. Well, that's going to give me 25, right? 4 times 25 gives me 100. So if I multiplied the bottom number by 25 to get from 4 to 100, then I would need to do the same thing on the top and multiply by 25 there. 1 times 25 gives me 25. So 1 fourth is the same as saying 25 over 100, or 25%. You roll a six-sided die. What is the probability that you land on five? Simplify your answer and write it as a fraction or whole number. Okay. So you need to visualize what this die looks like in person. We see three of the sides here, but we know it really has six sides, right? Underneath this top side, we've got a bottom side. Under, behind this front side, there's a back side. And with this left side, there's a right one over here. So there's six different sides on our die. So that means there's six different outcomes that we can land on, right? We could land on the number one, two, three, four, five, or six. So of those six possible outcomes, how many of them are five? Well, there's only one side of our die that has a five on it. So that's a one out of six probability of landing on five. You spin the spinner once. What is the probability that it lands on two? Write your answer as a percentage. Okay, well, how many total spaces are there for me to land on? Notice there's four spaces, one, two, three, and four, that are all equal sized. So there's four total possibilities. Now, of those four possibilities, only one of them is a space labeled two. So I have a one out of four probability of landing on the two. Okay, well, which one of these percentages represents one fourth? Well, remember, one-fourth is a quarter, or 25%. 
you pick a card at random, what is the probability you pick one? Okay, well, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five cards. So there's five different cards we can pick, right? The total outcomes always goes in the denominator or the bottom of the fraction. And we want to look at these and say, of those five cards, how many are the card with a one? Well, there's only one card that has a one on it. So I have a one out of five chance or one out of five probability of picking that card. And I want to turn this into a percentage. So which one of these percentages has the same meaning as one fifth? Well, one fifth is the same as 20%. You pick a card at random. What is the probability you pick an olive card? Okay, so here we're talking about the colors of the cards. So notice there's one, two, three, four different cards. So there's four different possible outcomes. Now of those four cards, notice three of them are olive colored, right? The three on the right all have that olive looking color. So I have a three out of four probability and three quarters we know is the same as 75%. You roll a six-sided die, what is the probability you land on two? When we saw a die question a moment ago, remember we said there are six different sides that each have a different number, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So of those six sides, only one side has a two on it. So that's a one out of six probability of landing on a two. Now, this time they asked me the probability of landing on four, and it would be the same thing. It would be one out of six. Because again, out of six possible sides, only one of them has the four. You flip a coin. What is the probability it lands on heads? Okay, so when you flip a coin, there's two possible outcomes you can land on. You're either going to land on heads or tails. So there's two possible outcomes that's going to go on the bottom or denominator of my fraction. And of those two outcomes, one of them is landing on heads. So that's a one out of two or 50% chance. Okay, and actually anytime we flip a coin, right, there's two sides, heads or tails. So we have a 50% or one out of two chance of landing on heads and a 50% or one out of two chance of landing on tails.